the sensational slogan of the newly elected president, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu, during his campaign was tagged a milokon. And on this day, some firms will immortalize this slogan through the unveiling of the Emilokon fabric to celebrate the president's victory. A cold blog is live at Radisson Blue for this very unique occasion. The event will attract distinguished personalities from political, business and traditional communities. I bet you are eager to witness this event. And of course, you can trust a cold blog to bring you the details of this event as it unfolds. I am Olainka Olorunshala. Do stay tuned. A group of firms have unveiled the Emilukon fabric in honor of President Bola Hamed Tenumbo. The unveiling and launch of the Emilukon fabric took place on Saturday, 3rd of June, 2023, at the Radisson Blue Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos. The fabric is largely promoted by the Ashtakina Fabrics World, owned by Mr. Shuaib Razak Babamali, and sponsored by Dr. Habe Anas of ZGM Investment Group, HAC. The co-host of the event and the CEO of Transville Media, Mrs. Madinat Adigun Oladatun, while speaking, said the fabric is a creative way of pushing support for the president. She said the fabric will serve as a tool of unity, a national identity, and a means of putting Nigeria on the global landscape for entrepreneurship and creativity. Oh, in fact, it's just a creativity. You know, as we normally have a fabric that is called Atiku, where everybody believes the fabric belongs to Atiku. And the fabric is not actually for Atiku, because Atiku used to wear the fabrics often and often. So they have to name the fabrics after the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar. So when I thought of it, we were sitting down, we were looking at what to do, at least to, you know, to get to the elite, to make them feel comfortable, and at the same time to celebrate our president, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu. So we, de we decided to use his logo to produce, to produce this kind of fabric, the Swiss fabric, that we want the trend to be going all over Nigeria, and that's why we name it Emilokon Fabrics. And President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu logo is embedded in it and is one of its kind it has never happened and we are using that one to congratulate him to tell him that we are always proud of him and that's why we have to do this so that nigerians should embrace it and we want the trend of emilocon fabrics to be going everywhere no this is not the fabric we are here to unveil the fabrics we call it is swiss boy for the elite and whosoever that are interested in getting quality fabrics no we have provision for the ma we have provision for the masses you know initially when we, when we, the the ashua jibola met you know when it started the logo and people are using it to do ankara to do adire is ankara adire is easy to assess people can assess it easily but this particular product took us over eight months before we can get it done we started since last year we started the creativity and production since last year, August, after he said Emilokon at Abekuta, that was when the creativity comes in. So we have for the middle class too, is in, is in series, it's not only for the big people, and it's not only for Nigerians, for the whole world. We want the whole world to embrace it. A call blog also interviewed guests and all the dignitaries present at the event. Oh, we are here to unveil our, our products. That is a um, material named after the newly elected president, Slank Emiloko. So that is what we are here for. Um, I'm expecting a lot and have been seeing a lot already. And I believe that today will be a memorable day for the organizer of this uh, event with the highs I'm seeing already present in the event. So I'm expecting a lot of things and I'm expecting this uh, fabric to go viral and do better in the uh, clothing industry. This is unveiling of our fabric, the Milocon fabric, which is um, specifically made for um, our president, Bola Ahmed Chinumbu, and the concept behind it is just 
when you see someone that you take as a mentor and our own personal person who has achieved a lot, especially for us that we are Lagosians and the entire Yorubas. So um, we need to celebrate him while he's still alive. We need to honor him and we, we need to do everything needful to support his regime. And uh, coming together today is one of the reasons that we just want to embrace what he has done, the templates and his legacy, so that all tribes will come together to give him a great support. He's a great man, he's an icon. He has done much for, the, for himself and for this country. So I just embrace and encourage every socialized youth, politicians, and all tribes to come together and to make this fabric a renowned fabric. Since we have Atiku fabric, so a Milokon fabric has come and is going to be forever. So that is the main point of doing this today. As I said, I'm so optimistic about this regime. You know, he has a traceable record of what he has done in the past. He has um, transformed Lagos. As I'm a Lagosian, a, a businessman and a socialite, Ashwadu uh, has done so much for this country and uh, he has um, put everything like in structure. He has a good structure, he has grassroots, he has everything, he has what it takes to be the president of this country. And you can see, he's not only associating with the Yorubas, he has good cordial relationship with other tribes, the Northerners, the Igbos, and so on and so forth. And uh, because he has a very good team also, I believe he will perform wonderfully. So we should give him a chance. And you don't crucify people without seeing a, uh, a concrete result of what they have done. So me personally, this is my first time of giving a public support to any politician in Nigeria. I'm a socialite, I'm a businessman, but uh, what he has done, um, I've seen it as something that I have learned from as well, that we should not give up. If you believe in something, go for it. Ashwadu believe in his personality and ability to become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and he has achieved it. So I wish him all the best. We will give him all the support, and by the grace of Almighty Allah, he will do the four years and do additional four years, making eight years, inshallah. Yeah, it is very important. It's very significant because um, we are talking of Emilokona has become a very popular slogan, you know. And uh, of course, you and I know that uh, uh, it has to do with uh, our sitting president now, President uh, Ashwadu Bolat Ahmed Tunubu. And uh, what? First of all, let us look at what does Emilokona means. It means it is my turn. It is his turn, Jonathan, to change Nigeria for the better. It is the turn to look at security issues. It is torn to create employment. It is torn to change everything negative about Nigeria so that all of us, you and I, can have a better place to live. So it's a slogan that was coined by him and does not become, you know, a kind of uh, uh, an international thing that everybody is talking about. And so what we want to do now, what we are here to do, is to launch it in the that fabrics with a popular, you know, a Milokan slogan on it. And there's this proverb, uh, Yoruba proverb that says, Asho. I don't know whether you are Yoruba. Ashoni yeyon. Ashoni ye. Your cloth, you know, tells so much about your, your, your personality. And that is why they are coming, bringing this logo, I mean, uh, logo into fabric so that everybody can wear it. And once they see you with it, they know that you are part of that change that we are yearning for. Virtually everything about Nigeria today, I will call it a new dawn, a new beginning what the Christian will call fresh anointing. Today, we're having somebody at the end of affairs of Nigeria. And you know Nigeria is a fair representation of the entire Africa. If you take the 16 countries in West Africa into consideration, take Nigeria apart, it remains 15. If you combine the whole, entire 15, they are not up to Nigeria. I've, I've traveled virtually all, at least 12 states out of the uh, the 12 countries out of the 16 countries in West Africa. So I know what it looks like. So we have been somebody that would drive not only Nigeria, so that would, that, that would drive the entire African continent. Where Africa would become 
a, a, a trust of everybody in the world. And it's starting from Lagos here. Yeah. And it's starting from virtually everything that we do. So Emilio Con fabrics, everything that has to do with it is like sending the message that this is a new beginning. Things, new things, new beginning, new people at the home of affairs, and new development. So I'm happy to be part. Is let, let, let me tell you, if you are if somebody understands what it means by Emilio, it means this is my time. It is appointed time, even on the, in, in, the, in the history of Nigeria. And when you are talking about a fabric, it's like when you are telling the entire world that it is high time we think back into our system, go back to the system. Go, do, let, us, let us make use of what we have. Let Africa handle Africa. Let our fabric, what, what we believe in, not, not that... Uh, we are African countries and virtually our entire lives depends on foreign, or both the foreign and foreigners. I am, you can see me, I'm putting on Agbada. I'm not wearing coats. So in the African setting, our local, Emi local, new things, new beginning, the fabric is a starting point and it's a, it's a reference point to other developmental activities that in technology, in health, in whatever, we are looking inward. We are doing things by ourselves. We are appreciating ourselves. We are appreciating our product. We are appreciating our initiative. So in other words, in a short while, Nigeria is going to be the superstar of the world. So that is how symbolic a Milokon is. Is a drawing, is a notion to draw you back. We are going back to base. Come, let us go back to home. Let us go and start things. Let's, let's start a new thing. Let's develop ourselves. Let's use our individual. Let's use our product. Let us use our own material, our own natural resources. Manage it with our human resources, with the, material, with the financial resources that we're going to bring about. No, Nigeria is going to be a better place. We are here on the, on the honor of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, we are unveiling the fabrics. And the whole essence of this fabrics unveiling is just to give a motivation to an intentional leader. It's not an accidental leader. It's somebody that wants to be a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and he has worked towards getting that seat and he actually got the seat. Now, getting the seat, we, as a follower, we don't have any other things to do than to give him a sense of encouragement. What we are doing here today there's a sense of encouragement to Asua Jibola Ahmed Tinobu, the executive president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are giving him motivation that he should not lose focus. He has an agenda for planning to be the president, and God has helped him to be the president. He shouldn't disappoint himself, and he should not disappoint the entire Nigeria. We are looking forward to seeing him doing the right things, and we pray he's going, we know he's going to do the right thing. Thank you very much. You, you know, when you, when you set a standard for yourself, it's a very dangerous move to set a standard for yourself. Now, when people set standard for you, that no, you should be able to do this. At the end of the day, you come to tell them that I didn't tell you I would do that. I only came to the power and I did the little I could do. But for us, what you have made Bola Tinubu to say, I am the next in line. In spite of the predicament and a lot of imbalanced situation in Nigeria, he must have thought about that. And we know that slogan will move him faster. Even when he's about to break down, that will always move him ahead. Because the language in Milokan does not stop there. You have to work hard to get the sector of uh, the economic sector fixed. You have the head to fix. You have a lot, the road, infrastructure, nothing seems working in Nigeria. You know, recently I traveled from Elori to this place. I came from the, uh, by the road this early morning, past six. See me in uh, Lagos in less than four hours. Nobody were on the road. We have started getting it right. Like the former Emir of uh, Kano said, it's not something easy. You can't just say, you want to get to the appropriate Nigeria and you will find it easy like that. We we'll all have to labor, sacrifice in one way or the other so that we are able to get the things right. 
the way to fix it. We are all doing the sacrifice, not limited to the president. The president will have to do a lot of sacrifice. We are the follower, we have to bear a lot of things so as to fix Nigeria, then we remain the, not only the giant of Africa again, we can be one of the prosperous countries in the world. Thank you. Saying you are the next is a word of mouth, but the moment you pronounce it to the public, it moves you to walk towards being the next person. Now, the Nigeria is the next. Not only the President uh, uh, Balame Tinobu as the next, and I've actually gotten it, Nigeria is the next to be seen in the world map, and we are going to reach there. Economic-wise, every other thing-wise, that is what we are putting across. Unveiling the fabric is not just cloth, it goes beyond the cloth. Okay, so it's, it's all about success celebration. Uh, as you know, the, the country just uh, concluded its general elections and the president just got sworn in. Pray in the name of uh, President Aso Ajibola Ahmed Tinubu. And uh, you'll agree with me that uh, the Emilokan slogan, Emilokan phrase, is one of the most popular things in Nigeria at the moment. Uh, the acceptability by the people in the northern part of Nigeria and the southern part is quite uh, phenomenal. And it's something I'm personally uh, you know, optimistic and intrigued about that. If you're now bringing a bit of fashion with style and class and finesse, with the Emilokon thing, it's like intertwining clothing, fabric, garments with politics in a way. So we're not really here to talk about politics, but you'll agree with me that uh, it's a thing of success and uh, the broken chain, it's like our own Gucci brand or the LV brand and uh, it can go all around the world because Nigerians are known to, to dominate. So this is like a, a kind of a, a launch to the world saying we have a brand with a, with a logo, with a broken chain. As you can see, I'm wearing it on my head, on my Agbada. So proud of it. Okay. 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 So if, 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 you, if you're talking about the dynamics of what the Simulokan thing can do, the, the ripple effect, uh, I'll explain in a bit how I feel it can be like a domino effect. In, in the place of employment, trade, and commerce. With the Milokan thing, if, you're, if you think of a million pieces of Milokan clothes being sold around the country, people would invest in it, buy it, add a bit of profit, and resell it. There will be a distributor, there will be a wholesaler, and then there will be a logistic company taking it from one spot to the other. So you, you're creating jobs and opportunity for people in the transportation sector, you're creating jobs for people that are the market women, and the more orders you get, uh, you, you, we all know that maybe uh, in the next two, three months, the others could increase because if you look at the number of APC people in the country, they, they are kind of everywhere. And you have APC members that are artisans, doctors, uh, teachers, uh, mechanics, all around, all kind of sectors, bankers, lawyers, accountants. So that for me, would have a much of a wide range of effects on the people and if it's creating employment, it's creating commerce, it's improving commerce and trade, I think that's, that's a good thing. And if we decide to start making all this uh, uh, cotton materials in Nigeria, that means you're now bringing in the farmers to, to produce more cotton, to, to have more clothing, stuff like this in our processing factory. Of course, if, 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 the, if the numbers are good, if I talk like an accountant now. So let's say you start with a million pieces and then you're getting orders after today. You, only, you need to increase. Then you might start thinking of why don't we just have a small processing uh, factory over here that's, that's going to be doing it. So it becomes like an all-in-one all all stop shop whereby you don't need to go outside the country to get anything. Do you understand? That's what I believe in. The unveiling of the Milokon fabric attracted distinguished personalities from the political, business, and traditional communities, including the Speaker, Lagos State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Muda Shiro Obasa, and the veteran musician Al Haji Wasiu Aide, who also spoke at the event. By my colleagues on the IT group, distinguished. Ladies and gentlemen here present, gentlemen of the press, and our MC who has been doing a fantastic job, save for committing <laughs> Well, I am happy to be here and I want to thank my brother, Abbey Announce, who made this possible. 
and with uh, the other brother, Lame Sakoni. I thank you for bringing me here to be part of this um, wonderful event. It's about today, and that you have launched this fabric in his honor. He's a very well-known man to everybody. Today, he's the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and we thank Almighty Allah for making it very possible. We are still in ce uh, celebration mode, inauguration is still going on. The president has just taken office, the National Assembly yet to take office. And here in Lagos also, we still continue with inauguration. So, we see period to celebrate. And we have uh, launched the celebration in another form by naming and launching a fabric in the local. And I'm very sure we go in Oricon and every good things from Almighty God will continue to identify us and stay with us forever. Ashwajo, as we all know, he is a very generous man, very hardworking, very intellectual, and very supportive. And he's a man that has made a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, which I myself is also a beneficiary of his generosity. So we thank Almighty Allah for his life. We will continue to remember him. And it is good that when we recognize someone who has been doing well, to celebrate him while he's alive. So we don't wait till let's stand one minute, let's do this and that. But doing this shows that we recognize all the good things he has done. And we will continue to do that. I will continue to pray to Almighty Allah to give him strength, give him good eggs, peace of mind, knowledge, wisdom, you know, to deliver and serve Nigeria well. We don't have doubts in our mind that is going to perform and is going to help us. And back to my brother who is in charge of a no call. I give you kudos, I salute you and uh, I'm happy that you are doing this. You've always been doing something wonderful. But at the period we are in Nigeria today, when you have someone that had introduced an initiative considering the economic situation shows that person is very focused and he knows what he is doing and as an industrialist, he is a man that we must commend. Why many people keep their money in their account in the back? You are seeing people coming now, creating opportunity and benefit to many people in Nigeria, those who are going to also make time living out of it. So we thank you, we commend you. And this is success already. Look at looking at this garden, it is a good success. And I'm sure this will transcend beyond this logic. And many years will come back again to do an anniversary of this in local fabric. And let me urge each one of us that we must ensure that as for us, we also buy a milocon for whatever we want to do. And me, myself, and my household, we follow sin. So, my brother, I thank you for bringing me to the part of this occasion. And I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming here. So, let us continue to support a milocon. Thank you, and God bless you. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and seats. Due respect to the speaker, the was the House of Assembly, and uh, our father, the Ashwa of Ufa, and other very important uh, dignitaries I am present. Also, my greetings to the, the man of today, the man who showered love and uh, take a decision to face the public school. I want to congratulate you, Zivi, Masaya, for the love you show on Ashwanju. Every country, every state of the world has its story. When you do not tell your story, there's no way anybody could tell your story for you. What you are doing today in the circle of commerce, business people, what you are doing, to the best of my understanding, is telling the world we have a story to tell. Without being um, biased, I would say Every Yoruba people of the world that sees 
the emergence of Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinumbu as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should first and foremost thank themselves because the story has begun. We are here to tell our story. For many years in the past, we have various leaders that springs up, that comes out to lead Nigeria to prosperity. Every time we talk of Papa Olawa, we have MK Abiola, we have President Obasanjo. Now, the man of the moment, the Messiah, by special grace of God, that we all have been waiting for. That the Yoruba race will, at the end of the day, have every reason to raise their head above the level of water has come. And that man is President Bola Abed Chidobu. Say we, we some people are his foot soldier, which I am. I accept that one of the foot soldiers. Because we see the future in him at that time. And he was working on the right track for people like us to give thanks to Almighty God and to thank ourselves, our staff, that we have someone to identify with. To live and when you are in the Anybody that has not joined the train before now, you better start packing all your things. And be thinking in the aftermath of his government, what becomes of our country in Nigeria, not just your bodies. When they can move to the poor, can't fit to the sea. I assure you, has come to stay, and Nigeria has come to change. The hope we are talking about, as expected on our own, as extended to MQ Abiola, as given to former President Obasanjo, has arrived, has come before us. We should thank Almighty God. We are witnessing. Thank you very much. After the launching of this, I'm sure the story will not be the same again. Thank you very much. I see Los Angeles. Where the man did you never get my own lady? Look at my own lady. 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 Look at my own Phone and I'm not going to go back. I'm 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 a cold blog reports that the Emilocon fabric is a classic Swiss voile material emblazoned with the infinity insignia of the president. It is available in six colors white, blue, navy blue, wine, cream, and black. I want to be D A T. One, two, three, go. D A T. Please put your hands together, put it together, put it together. And show you, I am about to have a lot of speaker.